Quick Dick Quick Dick coming to you from Topno, Saskatchewan, and today, Quick Dick is gonna tell you a story. Now, because I'm not a complete jackass, which some of you may disagree with, I'm not gonna name the business that I'm roasting in this video. I'm gonna refer to them as the Jackass Truck Center. I'm gonna leave the rest of it up to you to figure out. Also, there's no paid promotions in this video because sometimes, if you're just a damn good business that's doing right, you get shoutouts. And if you're a jackass, well, here we go. So when you live in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, sometimes you just can't get everything you need in your small hometown and you need to run to the closest city. In our case, it's Yorkton. So Quick Dick's mother messages him one day and says, hey, I'm going to Yorkton, do you need anything? Because when you live in rural Saskatchewan, it's an unwritten rule that you must message everybody that you know and check to make sure they do not need something from the big city. Now you know what? Quick Dick doesn't spend enough time with his mother. So I say, you know what? I've got some spare time kicking around today. Why don't I drive you there? Now, for some reason, my mom refuses to ride in Morty with me. Well, there's usually hydraulic oil on the seats and it smells like a Tomcat peed in there. So we take her pickup. It is a Jackass brand pickup that is under three years old, still covered under 60,000 kilometer bumper to bumper warranty, and off to Yorkton we go. First stop is of course a grocery store. Now we need to go to said grocery store because said grocery store has got a killer sale on vinegar. And my mother is a vinegar addict. It's not an addiction. I just like to pickle things and it doubles as a really good cleaner. Okay, so here I am pushing this full cart out of the grocery store. I mean a cart that is loaded full of fucking vinegar. It's on sale for 99 cents a jug. You can't even make it for that. So while pushing this makeshift tanker of vinegar, walking up to the jackass pickup, I noticed something hanging underneath the engine compartment. And upon further inspection, figure out it is the alternator belt or what is left of the alternator belt. Shit. But wouldn't you know, it is Quick Dick's lucky day. There is a jackass truck center directly across the parking lot from the grocery store. Ha ha ha! Win! So I load this makeshift train car of vinegar into the truck, drive over to the jackass truck center, walk into the service department, and here's how it goes. Okay, listen, I get that you might be busy ordering another part or sending an email or playing World of Fucking Warcraft or whatever it is that you're doing. But could you look up and say, I'll be right with you? Is that asking too much? Maybe it is. I was raised not to get upset about things like this. So after a very uncomfortable five minutes of just standing there, Johnny Service Advisor looks up at me. Oh! Hi, uh, what can I do for you? Hey, I've got this half ton with the blown alternator belt. I was hoping you guys might be able to sneak it in and get me back on the road. Oh, we're pretty busy in the back, but let me see what I can do. Uh, I'm gonna need your VIN. Okay, this is one of the most common half tons that you sell, but sure, I'll humor you. I will go out and get the fucking VIN number and bring it back into you. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay, here's the VIN. Ah, okay, great. And that was the alternator, right? The belt, just the alternator belt. Okay, the alternator belt. Ooh, darn, we don't have one in stock. Okay, I, I get it. Even though I see hundreds of these pickups on the road, things happen. Sometimes you're out of parts. You forget to reorder one, you use a couple in a day. I, I, I get it. Okay, so where would you send me in town that might stop one? Oh, we have a parts distributor that we deal with the uh, Ogden McCall and see if they've got one. Okay, sounds great. Hey, we're on the right track here. As far as I'm concerned, this is still heading in the right direction. Okay, good news, they uh, have one and it'll be here in 15 minutes. Perfect. 
You guys be able to throw that on quickly, hey? Well, like I said, we're pretty busy, but we should be able to sneak it in. Now at this point in time, I should have noticed that this service advisor is predominantly breathing through his fucking mouth, but I thought nothing of it. All right. So I go outside, let mom know what's going on. We hang out in the truck, sip on our coffees, listening to GX94, taking a few guesses at the rib tickler, and then we see the courier truck show up. He was still pretty calm at this point. So I walk in and here's how things go. Okay, so the belt's here and we can get you into the shop in about a half an hour. And that total cost is gonna be 105.45. I'm sorry, what? Okay, but why would I care what you have to build to warranty? Well, see, this isn't a certified jackass truck part, so we can't actually warranty the part. Okay, so you're telling me that you don't have the parts on hand to back up your end of the warranty agreement on your jackass brand truck, and I'm gonna have to pay for it. You are starting to slide down a slippery slope right now from which there will be no return. I think he started getting a bit upset at this time. Okay, so I'm still relatively calm, but when I start feeling something getting slipped into my hind quarters, I start asking questions. So let's say I get over the fact that I have to pay for this part. I have another question. Okay, I don't like this, but I'm kind of at a tough spot here. So can you tell me how an alternator belt winds up costing $105.45? Uh, well, the belt is 25 bucks and then there's a half hour labor to install the belt. I'm sorry, what? Okay, but just pick up this under warranty. Well, seeing as how this is not a certified jackass truck part, we can't cover the labor to install it either under warranty. Holy shit. You have already bent me over and charged me for a belt that should have been covered under warranty. And now you're telling me that you want to charge me a half a fucking hour labor at the cost of 70 Canadian dollars to change an alternator belt. Have you ever changed an alternator belt? It takes a 3 8 ratchet and one minute of your time. If you can brush your teeth, you can change an alternator belt. If you can get out of bed in the morning and manage to put a belt around your waist, you can change an alternator belt. If you can buckle a fucking seat belt, you can change an alternator belt. Now he started sounding ridiculously upset, much like his father does at this time. So somehow I managed to retain my composure, and at this point in time, I ask the only question there is left to ask. You're gonna charge me $70 to change an alternator belt. Yeah, it's the book price for changing an alternator belt. Okay, listen, can I just borrow a 3 8 ratchet? I'll change it myself in the parking lot. Oh, no can do. Yeah, we don't borrow tools out here. Oh, he really lost it here. I fucking snap. I lose it. Except I don't make a jackass out of myself screaming at everybody in public because that solves absolutely nothing. I simply turn around and walk out the door and across the lot full of the jackass truck center's vehicles of which I will never attempt at buying in my natural fucking life again, what do I see? There, glimmering in the distance like a mirage in the desert, stands every agricultural technician's dream sign. It's the beautiful red and white of PV Mart. So I walk over to PV Mart and purchase a 3 8 ratchet for $10.99. So I walk back over to the Jackass Truck Center with a 3 8 PV Mart ratchet in my hand. The service advisors are all paying attention and starting to shake. All the service technicians in the back are starting to watch to see what's going on. And a cowardly service manager is hiding behind the door to his nearby office because every one of them knows that they just got caught trying to fuck somebody that is broke down an hour away from home. And here's how the transaction went. I would like to purchase the alternator belt. Okay, that'll be $27.75 with tax. So I walk out of the Jackass Truck Center. 
to the pickup in which sits my mother with a blown alternator belt and worthless bumper to bumper warranty. And in 57 seconds with the entire staff of the Jackass Truck Center watching, I changed the alternator belt out with a $10.99 3 8 inch drive ratchet that I bought from PV Mart. I didn't even know what was happening at this time. All I know is he was really mad. So I gently closed the hood and I placed the bastardized belt back in the cardboard receptacle from the new belt and gently frisbee it between myself and my new audience at the Jackass Truck Center, calmly get back into the pickup and proceed off of the Jackass Truck Center property for the last time in my life. So then I come back over to PV Mart. I buy a pack of underwear, two bags of jerky mix, of course, a farmer's almanac, a five pound hammer, and I return the 3 8 ratchet with no questions asked. So I finish running mom around Yorkton and back home to good old Tufnell we go. And people might ask me, Quick Dick, why do you get so upset about this? Well, it's because of the simple fact that if my mother had been there by herself, she would have been taken completely advantage of by these vultures. Now, I'm not saying every dealership does this, but the fact that it happens should disgust people. So to the jackass truck center, my message is simple. Be better human beings. I get you have protocols and a business to run, but a situation like this in which you take advantage of somebody that is in a bad situation is the lowest of low. PV Mart, I just love you. And if you ever start selling pickups, Quick Dick will be first in line to buy one. This is Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you, if someone in a broke down situation is what you're seeing, you always have the option to be a good human being. Catch you next time. Stop swearing so much. I'm sorry, Mom.